Want to help the channel? Go to shopclownfish.com where you can check out official Clownfish TV merchandise and our brand new shop. It helps us out. Also, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash clownfish TV for more art and gaming live streams that we don't do on YouTube. We want to see you over there as well. Now let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's hotter than hell. It here is. Today. It is. It is like 110 degrees. It's, it's ridiculous. It's insane. I think and Florida isn't as hot as here. I don't think Florida's as hot. Yeah, so we're uh, in the Pittsburgh area and it's very, very warm and it hasn't rained in days. Well, it rained a little it's bit sprinkles yesterday. sprinkles and that's it. It needs rain. Uh, so that's what we're talking about, the weather. We're talking about the weather. Uh, we're going to talk about Batwoman and originally we weren't going to really talk about the casting decision because frankly we don't watch the show just didn't really care mostly we covered the drama around the show around uh ruby rose and the ratings dropping and the media defending it let's be honest we all knew this is what the casting was gonna end up as anyway i mean come on is yeah. anybody surprised no nobody's surprised but some people are not happy Oh, and it's what not else the, is new? well it's not the people you would expect so this is this is the interesting take uh, on it. So we're going to talk about uh, Javicia Leslie. I think that's how you pronounce her name, Javicia, cast as the new Batwoman after Ruby Rose's shocking exit. Shocking. shocking. It was shocking because they made such a big deal about it and she was gone after one year. Yeah. Now how they can explain it because, you know, we had to make a big deal how she took over because, you know, the real Batman left and it fits the woman now. So it's fine. And then she leaves. So are they going to have are they going to have, uh, you know, her ditch Gotham, too? Apparently. Is everybody just like like just giving up on Gotham? Uh, so now we've got uh, Javicia Leslie coming in as this uh, Ryan character, we'll, we'll talk about that. Now, uh, most of Twitter was uh, thrilled mm -hmm. at the casting well, decision. Surprise, surprise. They were thrilled, right? But not everybody was because of the way that the, her replacement character has been described. She's basically a criminal. Yeah, we read the, the well, the description, first of all, was a bunch of like, you know, contradictions. It was ridiculous how, you know, uh, she's gentle, but strong. And, you know, I forget it. was. She talks to plants. It was dumb. It was know. like, you know, you know, cautious yet, you know, spontaneous. And I'm like, what? She's, she's <laughs> cautiously spontaneous. It's like reading your horoscope open the paper it was ridiculously you know stupid and um yeah but yeah she was a drug runner yeah so we're going to talk about people having problems with that now before they they recast uh uh recast the part and it's it's not obviously not kate kane she's not playing uh kate kane she's playing a new character but just uh, less than a month ago media outlets were having kind of a fit they're like it's not going to work it's going to make the show way more mm -hmm. complicated we we likened it to the dukes of hazard with them bringing in the yep. cousins yep you know it's like oh it's not quite bad anytime woman. you bring in the cousins the show is pretty much screwed right we've got uh, replacing kate kane on batwoman season two is a terrible terrible idea um, my next question is and it's a serious question are we going to keep the red hair on the costume I don't know. I mean, because, you know, I mean, frankly, the character is really not a, a ginger. The, the hair is, I mean, that color of red isn't natural, people. Let's be realistic here. But she she has the, 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 the red head wig aspect of it. So are they going to keep that? Or are they going to take it and change it to something else now? I don't know. Uh, now, here's the thing about the red hair. It, I, I'm going to be honest. It works in the comics. Mm -hmm. it, I don't think it works so well in real life. It kind of looks clownish in in the show it's uh, weird yeah yeah but i haven't watched much I, i'm gonna be honest i haven't watched much of the show we talk about when we talk about that woman it's because we're talking about just kind of the general uh drama surrounding the the show and uh you know th there was such a a big deal made about Batwoman when it launched and the marketing behind it and who was playing yeah. Batwoman, and then she quits after a year uh, yeah it, it really yeah it's it, it's not a good look. It's not really a good Plus, look. Plus, she was in so much trouble, remember? Because she wasn't gay enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. She wasn't... Yeah, we actually defended Ruby Rose because when she was cast, uh, because she's, uh, I believe, identifies... I want to say she's pan. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how she identifies, but, but it wasn't lesbian. 
Right. And she wasn't gay enough for some people. So uh, Twitter and Tumblr were like, oh, my God, and she's not gay enough. And she's actually not Jewish either. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I was reading that the new actress isn't a lesbian either. She's bi. I believe she's bi playing a lesbian. Yes, because remember, kids, there's no such thing as acting. So Halle Berry can't play a trans character, but somebody who's not a lesbian, strap lesbian, can play a lesbian character. That is apparently the rules uh, now. Okay. So, so uh, I'm making sure I get this all straight. Yeah, so look, people had reservations about it. Even people who like the show were like, hey, this isn't going to work. Uh, now, you know, we can talk about the ratings. The ratings are not good, but they're actually not the worst mm -mm. on the CW, if I'm going to be completely fair. I looked into it to see where it fell, and uh, it actually is doing. It was doing better than Supergirl, which was also renewed. It was doing better than Legends of Tomorrow. It was doing better than Riverdale. You know, so I'm like, what? Uh, which I'm really surprised. I gotta tell you, but still, you know, sliding down the bat pole. Uh, I think <laughs> you're every not allowed to use the term bat pole, and you're not allowed to use the term sliding down the bat pole because she would never go anywhere near a bat pole. It's it's uh, uh, entering the bat gina. No. All right. So, yeah, it's the, the poll. Uh, the poll will be perfect when it fits a woman. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's that's what's going on now. Look, obviously, Twitter is thrilled. Twitter's ecstatic of at, course. at the casting news. And she does. I mean, look, she looks, you know, like she's pretty happy. I like her hair. She seems she's like fun hair. Yeah, she does. Uh, are they going to is that the hair they're going to give Batwoman? See, that's my only problem with it. I don't care if you have people that aren't uh, a ginger playing a ginger character, as long as you make the character a ginger. Now, in this case, to be fair, she's, she really isn't. It's just the costume. She's a faux ginger. She's right. a finger. She's a finger. There's lots of fingers yes. out there with the really, really fake red hair pretending to be redheads. But um, she, uh, you, if they would give her the red hair, they'd keep the red hair on the costume. I have, I have a problem with it. Just like, because ginger's come in all different skin tones and ethnicities. I never can say that word right. So yeah, I don't really care about that, but um, I don't know. I just, I'm just more interested in seeing how everybody's gonna fit because they cast her and now they made her criminal and people are already having a problem with that. Well, they are. Um, she actually seems like a very happy, happy, yeah, happy I, lady. I, she seems pretty cool to me and I like her hair. Yeah. She's I, got fun hair. Yeah, I think she, I think she, you know, um, yeah, she seems like she's fun, right? I, I mean, I don't know her. I know people said she was another other stuff. Uh, but here's where it gets interesting. Now, some of Twitter, not happy because the character is described as a former drug, drug runner. runner. Right, that's right. Uh, the actress seems cool, but that character backstory, eesh. Is it really smart to have a high-profile black character be a drug runner in the wake of so, stuff going on right I'm just going to call it like it is. So they replace they replace the character, and everybody wanted it to be really wanted it really hard to be you know a person of color, but the character description before they hired a person of color was they had put it out there that it was uh, they were a former criminal. So what you have to you have to pick your battle here. Which one is going to matter? You don't want black people associated with being criminals, or you want a person of color to be the, the main character? You're going to have to choose. Well, that's that's it. See, we don't know exactly what was behind the casting process we don't know if it was like it was open casting to uh basically anyone who no, wasn't they said straight that, yeah that's it that wasn't straight they basically said they had to be somebody who was lgbtq whatever which is discrimination by the way um just like you shouldn't discriminate against somebody who is those things for a part uh you should if you can't say i don't want any lgbtq people applying for this part because a straight person part that would be wrong and you shouldn't do it but it's okay in reverse that's that's kind of how that seems to work yeah. these days. Yeah. Anyway, um, here we've got uh, Daryl Wharton Rigby who says, "I dig she got the role, but why does her Batwoman need to be a former drug?" But runner? here's the thing, people. That was already established before they hired an actress. That was that was in the thing, like the character description, right off before anybody was hired. So the character was already that first. The better question is, why do people of color want to go play a, a character that's a, that's a that's a drug runner? Uh, Eric Diggins, Diggins at NPR. CW has named a black bisexual actress, uh, Javicia Leslie, as the new Batwoman, debuting next year. She's playing a former drug runner who lives in her van and somehow becomes Batwoman. Hmm. But they're all acting like they're doing this because they hired her and like they're doing her a disservice. The character was written in this before they cast this person as the character. I bet she knew when she auditioned that was the character. That is true. If if they wrote the character, they didn't write the character. Acting. Mm -hmm. People don't understand. Like that is that is the character. You don't. 
make the character like they don't the people who watch his show don't get it. same with ruby rose like she's not gay enough and she's not jewish therefore ruby rose can't play kate kane i'm like what that's acting <laughs> it's like then all of a sudden they're like oh my god she's leaving how can she leave us i'm like you wanted her gone before she even right. started and, and that, i mean just because this this person this woman is a woman of color doesn't automatically mean that that she that she is a, a drug person in real life that's called acting uh, character backstory is disappointing. Drugs. But they gave the character backstory before they hired the person. They're acting like they made this backstory up just because they hired a person of color. And it's like, that's not what happened at all. I'm leery of her character being a drug runner, a sexually confused homeless drug dealer. This is the hero. Uh, yeah, so look, people are going to have a problem. Now, what surprised me was one outlet we expected to absolutely love it. No, she's the one who didn't like the Black Buffy idea. Okay, uh, they did not. Really, it was a mixed bag. So the Mary Sue said that they were very, very happy for the casting decision, but immediately starts with the concerns. I'm happy, but it sounds like anything they want to reboot. I'm happy, but. Let's I'm happy, but. All. They said we need to protect her from all the racists and the misogynists and the ists and the phobes. But then four, one, two, three, four paragraphs in, that being said, I'm also worried about how the transition will happen, especially since so much of the story was built around Kate Kane. That's a, a damn That's good actually a good question. Good observation. Uh, I don't want Ryan to feel like an outsider in her own show. This is a nice piece of diversity, but it still doesn't ease the fact that the show is going to have a hard time separating the story from Kate. Yeah, that's true. That's actually true. Dukes of Hazard had a really hard time separating the show from the actual Dukes of Hazard. Right, right. Yeah, uh, look how that went. <laughs> that went really well. So after two seasons, Batwoman will be canceled. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, then there's the issue of the description of Ryan. Now, I don't know if they always intended for Ryan to be a black woman. No. I don't think they did, or if the casting was colorblind, but having a woman of color, especially a black woman with this description. The, the description was out before the casting. That is our understanding. Okay, so, I'm going to kind of read it again because it's too funny yes, not to. Yes, it is. Here's it the is. character description. <clears throat> Ryan Wilder is about to become Batwoman. She's likable, messy, a little goofy and untamed. She's also nothing like Kate Kane, the woman who wore the bat suit before her. With no one in her life to keep her on track, Ryan spent years as a drug runner, dodging the GCPD and masking her pain with bad habits. <gasps> Today, Ryan lives in her van with her plant. <sighs> a girl who would steal milk for an alley cat but could also kill you with her bare hands. <sighs> Ryan is the most dangerous type of fighter, highly skilled and wildly undisciplined. That doesn't work. No, that's what I'm saying. That doesn't work. An out lesbian, athletic, raw, passionate, fallible, so she does stuff to, okay, anyway, and very much not your stereotypical all-American hero. I see the, Scene. oh God, this sounds like a rom-com. It, it can does. Take it to the, it until does. you get to the fighting part, it sounds like a rom-com. Health have a name. She loses her house, her house plant named, named, um, Ivy. Ivy, yeah, that's right. Oh my God. After the girl, she, after the, after who she has a crush on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I, the first time I read this, I thought it said a, gr a girl who would steal milk from an alley cat. That's what I thought it said. And I'm like, what a bitch. <laughs> what a total unlikable bitch. This show is going to I love this. Bomb. Um, She's, you know, likable and messy and goofy, but untamed. I, I love it. A highly skilled fire, fighter, but wildly undisciplined. Wildly undisciplined, but a skilled fighter. That doesn't work. Anyway, everything about the description is messy, says Princess Weeks at the Mary Sue. The drug runner, the very much not your stereotypical all-American hero. It's all written in a way that's supposed to be cool girl trademark, but completely ignores the racial politics Be of all the Because the description was out way before they cast someone for the part. Maybe. Maybe. They should have. Well, wait. No, wasn't the. I think the description was actually leaked. I think. I think. No, was that that? They, okay, they, it was out because when people were, were auditioning, they gave you the description of the character for people to audition. So it was out. So the person, the people would have gone in auditioning for this part, right. knowing this description. So the the actress herself chose to audition for this part. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, I don't think this was. I, I'm trying to remember my me memories. Doesn't a matter if it was leaked or not. It was right. the character description right. that was given to the actors to audition with. It was out there before an actor was chosen. So it doesn't right. matter. I'm just saying, like, I don't think the general public was supposed to see that description. This right. is just what they're telling the the actresses. So it wasn't like 
But if the actress has no problem with it and she's okay with the character and she's the one representing the character and portraying the character, it's up to her to decide if she feels it's problematic or not. By everybody else trying to make the decision for her, aren't you taking away her, her right to choose what she wants to, to do? That That is true. Um, so they said, I tried to see if there were any black queer writers on Batwoman. And it seems like there might be one, but that's not enough. We're now talking about a show with a black female lead, and that means the show has two major black characters on it. Uh, time to bring in more diversity to the writer's room. We've reached out to the CW for comment. Oh, God. And I will report back if I hear anything. Uh, regardless, I'm, I'm still happy for her. You know, but it's never enough. It's, it's all wrong and how dare they, but you know, we're happy for her. Uh they're they're really not. I don't think I don't think she yeah, is. I'm just saying, but even at the end of the day is. though, she's the one who read the description and made the choice to audition for it. She's the one who wanted the part. So if she has no problem with pay, playing that character and she wants to do it, it's not up to everybody else to decide there's something wrong with it because that's what she chose to do. And she is a, a woman of color and has that and has the right to make that choice. Every woman has the right to make choices for herself. Like if I wanted to play, a, you know, some kind of character that was some kind of, you know, trampy, pole sliding character, I have that right to, to choose to do so. I also have the right to veto you. Yeah, no, I would never do it. And anyway. then you have the right to I'm file like for really divorce. I'm really shy, and I would never, ever, ever do that. But I'm just you saying. You were in the Man La Mancha, though. I was, and I had to wear a harem costume and dance and do back bends. But that's that was before my time. I wish was. you had video. I think there is a video somewhere, actually. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, the Mary Sue, I just want to point this out before this announcement. They had their their dream cast. Oh, great. Okay. And, and uh, Javicia was not on this list. We had this Natasha. I have no idea. We have, um, let's see, who is this? Is I don't even know. Scarston? I don't know. Do they really even care? No, but I'm just saying, maybe they're disappointed they didn't get their bat. They didn't get one. what they wanted. I don't know. I'm don't just know. saying, I mean, the character description, I, as I said, I, I, I take a shot every time I say this, guys. You'll probably pass out within five minutes. The character description was out there before it was cast. Um, they didn't, it, was, it, isn't like, it isn't disrespecting people of color. Yeah, um, look, she took the role. She wants to, I mean, a and lot of people- And they cast another white girl, they would have been mad about that too. Yes. There was no way anybody was gonna win this one. There was no way to win this one. Um, again, this is, you know, a character, a person stepping into an, a pre-existing uh, show. Granted, it's a new role, but there's, it's a pre-existing show with mm -hmm. the pre-existing showrunners, and, and it is what it is, you know? Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, the money spends the same. Javicia, cash your check. That's right. That's what I'm going to tell you to do. Cash and Maybe cash everybody your check. will get along with her more. Who May knows? Maybe she will actually be much, much better than Ruby Rose. Maybe the show will uh, do much, much better. Who knows? We'll find out. Well, we won't. We won't even watch it. I'm it probably... Is. I might... You know, I might... I have to... I have to watch a show where the protagonist has a pet plant, lives in the van, and somehow is an amazing fighter who's undisciplined. It yeah, just sounds... I'm I mean, I just want to make sure they give her the red hair. I do. I just, I just really love her hair, though. I don't know how it's going to fit in the costume, though. Yeah. I love her hair. It's just amazing. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, I, I think it's. I, I think it's fun. We'll see. I think her hair is fun. I mean, it's not red, but then to be fair, other than the costume, neither is Batwoman. So, That's true. Uh, I'm not too upset by this degingerification, guys. No, this is a new character. This is a brand new character. Right, and the Batwoman yeah. suit is what has the red hair, not the character. So no, yeah, you know. and I, I wow, still her boobies are going to fall out of that shirt. You know, you know what? There might have been some other motivation, mm -hmm. uh, given, given. But she still has great hair while while they're falling out. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying there might have been a, a little, little extra motivation in, in hiring her for the role to attract that male demographic, the male gaze. Well, she's pretty. Yeah, she she is. Can I say that? My yes, no, yeah, she is. I'll, you're I'll, my wife, and you're I, saying. I, 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 yeah, I think she's pretty. Yeah, I, I, she's yeah. She she looks she looks sufficiently super heroic. I think. I, I think, think so. You know. I don't she, watch the show, so it doesn't matter to me either way. She'll fill out the costume. You know, I'm just mm -hmm. saying there might be a little little extra motivation in hiring. Her. I just think she's pretty. All anyway. right, so uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe they'll actually just, turn the show around. I just I just think it's hilarious. They're getting so upset about something that was written before they even hired her. It and is, if they had not hired her, they had hired somebody else, especially if it was a white, another white girl, they would have had a hissy fit beyond belief because they hired another white person. They had a hissy fit. Remember, everybody, they, we were talking about the media, had a massive meltdown. A lot of them and Twitter had a meltdown when they hired Ruby Rose. Twitter took her to the task because she wasn't gay enough and she wasn't Jewish. 
That's true. Remember acting? That used to be a thing. Yeah, it used that to used be. to be a thing. Always so, stay in your lane, people. Yeah. So anytime, again, you're you're casting. Uh, well, they should have cast a full on lesbian because otherwise, it's, that's that's too much acting. I'm waiting for that to come up. I'm sure it probably is in some corner of the internet that she's she's not uh, gay, that she's bi. I'm sure it is going to come up because again, we can't act. We're not allowed. I to know act. It's, it's ridiculous. Will and Grace. Did you know that uh, Will was straight? Yes. Yeah. And he played a gay guy on the both of them. I think how, Jack was too. How wasn't dare he? How dare he? I don't know. I don't how know. dare he? How very dare he? Um, you know who else plays great straight guys and he's actually gay? Hmm. Henry Cavill. Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris does play a. a he pretty... plays really good womanizers too, and he's he's gay. He does actually play. I love Neil Patrick Harris. He's he's amazing. I anyway. want, I wanted to see him at the Christmas thing at Disney, and, and then we didn't get to because it was too to. late. Well, anyway, yeah. can we anyway, wrap this up? We're no wrap... one cares. Nobody cares. Now they should have cast Neil Patrick Harris. As Batwoman? As Batwoman. Because that would have just been completely defied all conventions. They should have cast a, they should, they should have cast a, a, a trans woman. That would have... That, that I, I can almost guarantee you, that is going to come up at some point. Because that, if they really wanted to go there and go to, you know, and really push and push the envelope, there you go. It's, it's absolutely going to come up at some point because it's never enough if you're always looking for problems. I just try to like everybody as much as I can, unless you're a dick, and then, you know, I won't like you. And then it's, it's less of a problem. Yeah, so good luck to Javicia Leslie. We'll mm -hmm. see how she does. Maybe the show will you know, be okay. I don't know. See ya. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.